mayor of this city and you know have been building more mm -hmm. more infrastructures to accommodate the growing population and so that's the kind of you know idea i think african governments mm -hmm. have to you know have sit down and plan how to control and manage this population mm -hmm. before 2050 or even at that you know mm -hmm how to also you know use the population mm -hmm. you know in a more productive manner because that that would be important for the future if it's not money then there'll be a lot of problems well now that's what i was thinking dr madu given what we know about governance in africa and governance well in in, in, in many third world countries and mm -hmm. etc uh, does it seem likely that this will be uh, something that they could think in terms of planning and whatever? I mean, and, and outside of that, then what, what, what do you do? I mean, what are some of the consequences of doing nothing? Well, consequences of doing nothing, you, you know what the consequences are. A lot of wars, which, which you know, has already killed millions. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the war in the Congo that nobody seems to be talking about anymore. Mm -hmm. That started in '97 when you know mm -hmm. Mobutu was overthrown, has taken over five million lives. Five mm -hmm. million. Nobody mm -hmm. said anything about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and but yet still there is a population growth, even though exactly. five million folks have been That's killed yeah. over yeah. the yeah. last since '97. Yeah. Exactly, because the population of Africa has been growing instead of decreasing, mm -hmm. because two factors: high fertility rate. Mm -hmm. Okay low mortality rate mm -hmm. there's a low lower mortality rate now because of better medical mm -hmm. care mm -hmm. so people are having more children that are staying alive than dying one of the reasons why a lot of africans when you tell them well why can't you have one or two they say oh, no 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 we got to have five or six is because out of that six they expect about three or two to die mm -hmm. okay or even four living two mm -hmm. so that's been the reason mm -hmm. from any if you talk to people in the village they will tell but you now with lower mortality rate exactly. instead of three out of five dying they might uh, only one out of five that's correct die. one out of five might die mm -hmm. or, uh -huh. or one out of seven might die mm -hmm. having living six mm -hmm. so so this you know helps the population to grow mm -hmm. now we've talked about hiv aids you know about 20 million, you know, people affected in Africa and all this. But the fact is that HIV AIDS have crossed, you know, the, the threshold of fear mm. amongst people in Africa now, like it used to, that people are seeing it as a disease, mm. not a cross, mm -hmm. and, and, and fighting it and taking their medicine. Mm -hmm. So the death rate even with HIV AIDS is, you know, stabilizing. It's stabilizing, in exactly. Of, uh -huh. it's, it's stabilizing. So mm -hmm. more people are not dying like they used to initially. Well, and so Dr. Madhu, uh, we've got about 30 seconds before we end this today, but uh, what you're doing, you're really uh, uh, bringing about an alarm in reference to this uh, increased population growth. Mm -hmm. And uh, even if only uh, uh, other countries can take an example of uh, what is happening in Africa and start making those kind of plans, because mm -hmm. while uh, the uh, population in other countries might not be as explosive. We are still having uh, uh, problems in some of these other countries. And mm -hmm. so Africa, in a real sense, can serve as an example of what uh, will happen if we don't uh, deal with the infrastructure and some of the old other things that we're mm -hmm. talking about here. And of course, let me thank you for bringing that information back. And uh, let me encourage our audience to tune in again next week for another informative edition of Comments. Thank you and good morning.